So if it's only 1.2 miles, as long as we get a good enough head start before they start the engines and carry on, we could possibly win on the pedal boards. Game on. Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damaged catamaran. We have come so far and are beyond happy to be floating once more. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. Sammy don't, Sammy don't, barefoot. Yes, sir. Good morning, good morning. Just to warn you, you are on camera. Um, so Eric has decided this is going to become a race. If the girls are going on the paddle boards, we're taking the boats. So there's a few rules. Are you up for the race, us in the boats, against the girls on the paddle boards? Yeah, as long as we're not paddling these boats. <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't be paddling any boats with a bit of luck. So basic rules are, we're not allowed to do anything to our boats until the girls are on the paddle boards and have let go of our boats. And then after that, we need to obviously start our engines, pull up our anchors, and follow the plotted course that we have, which is basically just following the magenta line uh, into the next anchorage. All right, so no restrictions on revs? No, there's no Ooh. restrictions, but oh, that's true, that's true. Wait. How fast can we go? You can only go three knots. No, there's no restrictions on revs. Hey! <laughs> I think we could probably beat them just idling. Yeah, I think we probably can as well. It's just, uh, what is it, about 1.2, 1.5 miles, something like that? Yeah, it's not far. All right. Anyway, we're getting ready here, just setting up some cameras and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready to get going soon. So if it's only 1.2 miles, as long as we get a good enough head start before they start the engines and carry on, we could possibly win on the pedal boards. <laughs> What do you reckon? I'm not sure to be honest because it's really not that far and you and Kerry are both pretty good on the on the paddle boards. So yeah, it all depends really. Dun, 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 dun. Oh and that's another thing too. Um, our one engine always, it doesn't start from the key anymore so Davey's gonna have to run down there and start that. Hey, you can't do that yet. I'm only putting my engine up. Sam's got his engine up. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be the same rules for everyone. Yeah, but Sam doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> That's true. Ready? On your marks, get set, go! Alright guys, it's down to us now. We're going to have to win this one. I haven't even got the keys out. Game on. All right, so the girls are off. Now it's down to us. So uh, first of all, we've got to get these engines started. So I'm gonna have to go down in one of the engine rooms. I'm gonna have to clip you guys on, I think. Yeah, I don't know where to clip you. So that one never stopped. Yeah, go ahead, Sam. Do these um, women folk actually think that they're gonna beat us even if we went really, really slow? I'm not sure. But it's all a bit of fun, eh? All right, let's go. Sam's off. Sam was quicker than me. I don't think he had as much chain. Eric likes to put a lot of chain out. All right, let's get moving.
Now that's called buddy boating. That's real buddy boating. Pass me a sandwich. Okay, so I have engaged the autopilot, so I'm gonna have to remember when we come to drop anchor, I'm gonna have to actually run inside and turn it, turn it off. So the head unit here is not working, but it makes life a little bit easier. So the girls have got the advantage, they can cut straight across, I don't know if you can see them there in the distance, but they can cut straight across the shallows, whereas we're gonna obviously have to uh, stick to slightly deeper water. So you can see the girls straight out here, heading across, and just around the corner we're starting to see the buildings. Now they're the old buildings from the old research centre, and that's where we're going to go and explore today. So we're going to go and have a, a look around there. We've heard some rumours that there's going to be a, there is a new owner, and they're going to get it reopened. It hasn't been opened since 2006, I believe. Sammy, don't Sammy, don't barefoot. Yes, sir. They're a lot closer than you realise. Yeah, but look at their paddling. It's it's become they're all over the place. They aren't even staying in a straight line at this point. What do you reckon? The girls are getting tired. They put all the effort in too early. They sprinted off the start line too fast. We've also got another thing up our sleeve here. We didn't tell them which part of the anchorage we were going to drop anchor in, so we could go to the northern end of the anchorage. Over. Yeah, we could always pull a quick one on them. <laughs> all right, stand by six eight. that's us here the girls are just about to touch land but I need to drop an anchor anchors down our anchor is down in the sand as you see it Sammy didn't get his anchor down. But the girls did a grand job there, a grand job. All right, I'm just gonna set this anchor properly. I'm melting. And I think the camera's overheated a little bit too. So we beat Sam, but Davey got his anchor down just before we touched the dock. Right, so does that count as a tie? A tie if we beat one boat and not the other. But technically we were in the, well, I guess anchors down, dock, same thing. I don't know. <sighs> we didn't discuss all the technicalities. No, we didn't. Oh well, it was still fun. And I definitely got a workout in, I'm melting. Oh, but if the anchor wasn't set all the way, cause he's just now He's just setting it, yeah. Anchor. So, anchor was down, but not set. Right, I think we won. So what's the, what's the technicality? Leave that in the comments. All right. Now to go home. All right, that's anchors down, engines off. There they come. I want to see how tired they are. They must have put some good effort into that. How was it, babe? I think we beat you. No. You had the anchor down, but you didn't have it set. No, 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 it wasn't no. What do you reckon guys? Is that a technicality? I had the anchor down but it wasn't fully set. But it was set enough for these conditions. There's like no wind and we're in about eight feet of water. Anyway, she's back. She's made it. You definitely beat Sam. Yeah. Well, I beat you but Sam didn't... Is it tied because we beat one of the boats? 
maybe. I'm not sure. We'll let you guys decide. Is that a tie because they beat one of the boats but not both? Or does that just make me the outright winner? I'm not sure. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> I made it home safe and sound. Dripping. I think it's time for a swim. <laughs> Refreshing? Yeah, much better. Well, there's a bit of a current. Yeah, it's because uh, that next cut is just around the corner. Tide is going out. So I just heard that Davey was doing 4.5 knots and we beat him. Nearly. No, you lost. We nearly beat you. <laughs> nearly, nearly. We were like 10 foot off the dock. So does that mean we were going four and a half knots? I don't no. think so. We had a completely different course. So our race was only 1.2 nautical miles to Lee Stocking. So we're anchored back at the Marine Research Facility. We came here three years ago uh, with Uma and we explored around and it was kind of eerie. It was like this abandoned resort. It kind of felt like you were on the TV show Lost or something like all this. Ugh, it was weird. Um, but apparently, looking online, uh, the island has been bought and apparently they're going to rebuild and repair the research center and reopen it. Um, so it could be interesting to take a look and see what it looks like now. Uh, we were over at the dock after our little race and uh, it smelled like new wood and everything. So maybe the rumors are correct. So we're going to take you and explore over there. And as we are unsure of who really won, because technically me and Carrie were in the anchorage before the boats, even though we didn't touch the dock, they didn't have to touch the dock. So we're kind of unsure on the rules of who actually won the paddleboard versus boat race. We might have to come up with another challenge. Look at the water. It's so shallow as well, there's only eight feet. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm gonna sneak in here and have a little look and see if we can find uh, Dan's four-headed fish. <laughs> Does it feel like uh, deja vu? Yeah. <laughs> Fox is trying to follow you. <laughs> she is gonna follow you. Is there? Is there? Are there four-headed fish? I don't think it's four-headed fish. <laughs> to be completely honest, I don't remember what the four-headed fish looked like. Last <laughs> time they had a really big forehead, didn't it? And you wore really dodgy sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else watched that video. I was cringing. And Davey had the weirdest sunnies on when he stood right here. Alright, so Carrie, because we had an issue with the rules, because I think we won, but Davey thinks he won. We need to do another challenge so we can beat them fair and square. All right, deal.
So I think this is about the first new thing that we've seen is the fact that they've dug up here. They're obviously starting to lay new water and sewage piping system, which is always the first stage, isn't it, really, if you're going to put something back into use. Get the uh, infrastructure back in. But these ponds and all this stuff, this was here before. Yeah, this is all the same. Yeah. Alright, so we couldn't come up with another challenge to do to beat the boys, so we'll have to save that. Maybe we'll come up with something when we move up the chain of islands. I think Fox is ready to head back to the boat though after chasing that drone. She's definitely knackered. What's that, Fox? <laughs> so, Davey made a joke that we should do the paddleboard race again. But this time we're traveling about nine miles, so I don't think that would be fair. I was getting out of breath just for the 1.2 miles. Do you want to take the paddleboard this time, babe? Yeah, no problem. Yeah? Yeah. I'll take the boat on the outside. Sounds good. You ready? Yeah. All right. On your mark. Set. Get set. No, don't. Go. <laughs>